after two days, literally two days of travel, I've made it to South Africa. I'm at Johannesburg. just got off the plane and I'm going to meet Kelly and Trayvon here at Buckingham Palace. It's, it's one of my favorite places because it's so beautiful. We spent time exploring Buckingham Palace just a little bit because it was Kelly's first time in London. After that we grabbed a quick bite and headed around the town to do some last minute errand running and a little bit of shopping at one of the markets in town. I decided to fly Virgin Atlantic. I love their international flights including their really cool looking beds in their first class cabin. Getting my bed made. Beautiful job making the bed beautiful. Isn't that cool? After several hours of little to no sleep, I made my way to our Airbnb in Johannesburg, and this place is absolutely stunning. We stayed at a gorgeous four bedroom, four bath home in Santon, Johannesburg. It came with the staff of a chef and a housekeeper. They were so sweet to us. We were truly grateful because they made our trip so easy and refreshing. I believe slight introductions are in order. You'll see my friend Mo here, short for Mosemo. She's from Zimbabwe, but uh, she lives in Canada now. There's my friend Trey, he's an amazing photographer, and my friend Kelly, who's also a blogger. If you've seen my Insta stories, I'm sure you've seen her a lot. So day one in Johannesburg, we just got here and uh, we changed, had a little lunch, and now we're on our way to Everyday People Party um, at some bar restaurant, so we're gonna check it out. It'll be fun. They lock me out the car though, so let me in. left uh what do you call it everyday, everyday people them that well that's what kelly says um it was really really fun uh, actually too much fun my feet are on fire also we've got some dinner here um there's a chef that uh cooks breakfast lunch dinner whatever you need um here at the home which is really really nice so she made us some um really really good looking prime rib and uh I'm going to take a bath and go to bed because we have another day full of standing and dancing. Afropunk, day one. Look at how pretty it looks at night. I love it. Just so magical. And we've got some din din. Some little steak frites. Okay, so it is the morning time. I guess it's Monday. Um, we just had our first night's sleep here at the house, and uh, now we're gonna have some breakfast, hang out a little bit, and then head off to Afropunk.
insane. We came home and crashed. Look at Kevin. Also, we unknowingly, like this is very bizarre. We all are wearing black, white, and yellow. It's we really weird. I have on black and white with my little headband. That was very last minute because my hair is sweated out. Kelly's got on this beautiful number. And then both Musemo and Trey have on, yes, black and white and yellow. This is crazy. Who does this? Y'all better drink some water. Afropunk is all about love, no hate, no racism. It's such a beautiful place to be. And of course, you can't help but pay attention to all the wonderful fashion. It was so cool to see people from all over the continent, all over the world come dressed in their best. Some of the coolest outfits and pieces I've ever seen. I wish I could wear them all. phenomenal new year's it was probably the best new year's i have new year i have ever had um just being surrounded by so much love so many beautiful black people from all over the diaspora with my best friends it was a blast i hope you guys had a beautiful new year's too love you guys oh i heard that you can say nyan tandem it means i love you so nyan tandem look at how cool their new plane looks this is so nice there's Kelly. Hi. Look at the seats are gorgeous. And it has like a footrest situation over here. So much space. <laughs> Great way to start my birthday. Yes. Our second stay for this trip in Cape Town was a beautiful penthouse apartment in Greenpoint right near the waterfront. It had amazing views. It was a three bedroom. Um, it was a little small for our liking, but overall it was the perfect spot for our trip. <laughs> It's Kelly's birthday. We surprised her and got her a cake from Oogly Boos. Mm. Um, her favorite color is green and she loves chocolate, so I got her a green cake with chocolate. I'm not gonna go do it now. So we're gonna go there. All right. Gavin! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday!
Crying. <laughs> wow. We have made it to our beautiful palatial villa in Cape Town and they got me this gorgeous green Ooh, cake. It's chocolate, it's so tasty, and now we are off to a club situation. I don't, I don't know what this is. survived last night and uh, spent most of the day in bed barely, barely. barely. and um, now we are off to dinner I spent most of the day relaxing they went to go shoot at the beach um, we're going to dinner this place called mama Africa's I'm hoping it's not too dark in there so you guys can see exactly what I'm eating because I know it's about to be bomb see y'all at the restaurant change of plans mama africa was fully fully booked um we couldn't even get in at the bar so we went right next door to this place called sergeant pepper um and they've got like standard american fare really good looking pizzas burgers wings all that kind of stuff and we're sitting outside on the balcony it looks just like new orleans like you feel like you're right back down in new orleans on bourbon street it's really dope Cap is probably one of the most distinct neighborhoods in Cape Town. Formerly known as the Melee Quarter, it is covered in beautifully colorful homes. Previously, it was a township situated on the slopes of Signal Hill. Okay, so it was raining for a little bit. We took a break from shooting to get some food and there's a fish market here at the VNA um, waterfront. It looks really, really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys around. Also their MOCA here, their Museum of Modern Art is here as well. We're gonna check that out tomorrow though. So yeah, the architecture here is really beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So I got some oysters. I didn't even see where they're from, but I'm assuming it's the coast or the Cape here in Cape Town. They look really nice. Let's give it a taste. Coffee. I was late. Perhaps. You know, I don't remember that. I, I, this is such a nice one. I want that. Those are really good. Wow, look at that. Some prawns. I also got some tacos here. Trey, what'd you get? Prawns. First time I've ever having with the head on. I'm freaking out. Suck it. Good. It's good. Suck it. She got some. That looks good. What'd you get? Better. Of all the things. Of all the things. All the yumminess. And then, are those potatoes? Um, vegetables. Veggies. Yeah. They got ribs over here. She got everything. It looks great. I'm not hating. So we're at this thing called Pantone Sundays where the organizer picks a color, usually the Pantone color of the year, and they have a party in that theme. So this year is purple and um, everyone is dressed in purple. It's sponsored by Sky Vodka, so there's lots of alcohol. 
um, and purple themed drinks and of course we've all got on our things. Look at Kelly. Look at her lip. This head wrap. I'm here for it. <laughs> Stunning. I last minute threw on something. I got a sunburn so I'm covering myself so it don't burn anymore. This is great. We're almost done with the vacation so I'm not too upset about it. But. mocha but this time we're at the hotel next door at the silo to have lunch first and then we're gonna head into the actual mocha to check out some art the building itself is absolutely gorgeous it looks like it came straight out of the black panther film we kept calling it wakanda actually the art itself i have no words so i'm just going to let it speak on its own So I got the truffle carbonara. Um, TJ's got some prawns over here. We've got some olives. There was shredded mozzarella, well, burrata, but it's gone. We've got meatballs. She also has more of the carbonara. What'd you get? I got a seafood pasta. Seafood pasta and uh, ribs. Ribs, beautiful. I'm sorry. I can't wait to eat this. But for real. Mmm. Wow, those are It's so good. It's like truffly, cheesy. Oh my goodness. What else is in this? Bacon. Mm. So today we are leaving Cape Town and heading back to Johannesburg for about two days um, and then um, back to the States. So I'm really sad we're leaving. It was such a beautiful trip. Everything from the food to the music to the people. It was just a really, really great trip. So yeah, I'm sad to say bye. Okay, we are back in Johannesburg. We're staying at my friend Mo's mom's house, our family home. It's really, really beautiful, super tranquil and quaint. We're off to get some breakfast nearby, and then um, we are going to the market. I want to buy some souvenirs for my family and some fabric and stuff like that. And then either today or tomorrow, we're going to be heading to um, the Apartheid Museum. That's something that we really wanted to do, so um, stay tuned. You can't leave South Africa without getting a couple souvenirs and gifts for friends and family. So we made our way to the Rosebank Art and Craft Market where vendors were selling their best products. There were so many beautiful pieces. I wish I could have brought them all, but my luggage wouldn't allow it.
So unfortunately, because of scheduling, we didn't get a chance to hit the Apartheid Museum, but that means we have something to do when we come back. Uh, hopefully next year, this was an amazing trip. A lot of resting, a lot of relaxation, and a lot of history, culture, and just fun. I've had a blast, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Happy New Year.